The challenges we face are demanding, but not insurmountable. Prime Minister and Minister responsible for national security, Honorable Philip J. Pierre, remains steadfastly committed to ensuring law and order is upheld and St. Lucia's neighborhoods and communities remain safe for residents and visitors alike. During a November 27th address to the nation, Prime Minister Pierre provided insight on his administration's strategic interventions to disrupt and dismantle criminal networks and expel criminal elements from our communities. In the coming weeks, as the police will intensify searches and roadblocks, there will be some inconvenience. How is the public to be understanding and cooperate with the police during these trying times? In November this year, the police confiscated 29 firearms and over 470 rounds of ammunition. The police are expected to make maximum use of the powers conferred upon them by the law to bring an end to the upsurge of homicides in our country. And I can assure the police that they have the full support of the government as they continue to battle the criminal elements who are insisting on causing hemen and havoc in our country. St. Lucia's chief security agency, the Royal St. Lucia Police Force, has benefited from an injection of numerous operational resources and tools, including more than a dozen new vehicles, additional recruits, and improved access to technical training programs. St. Lucia's legislator has also responded to the call to combat crime. In July, the government side of the lower house introduced an amendment to the Firearms Act to increase penalties for firearm-related offenses. The judiciary can impose fines of up to $250,000 and imprisonment terms that can extend to life behind bars. Crime detection capacity has also been enhanced with the newly acquired accreditation status of the Forensic Science Lab. These crucial advancements have been secured just in the last 16 months. We must offer no encouragement in word or deed to criminal behavior and the government will be relentless in supporting the police in that battle. The majority of solutions are hospitable, peaceful, law-abiding, and loving people. We can't afford the criminal minority to compromise our way of life. Our island must remain a desirable place for us to live, work, and recreate, and a welcoming country for the thousands who visit us every year. Collectively, we need to confront these criminals that seem to be creating an atmosphere of fear and trepidation. As a people, we must not allow criminality to overcome us. Additional policy interventions to tighten the grip on crime are in the pipeline. The Prime Minister has alluded to the establishment of an interagency intelligence committee to adopt an interagency collaborative approach within law enforcement agencies to work collectively with a common goal of combating serious and organized crime. Tactically, Efforts are underway to strengthen and increase community policing and mobile and foot patrols by police officers. Authorities are also harnessing technology in the national anti-crime crackdown with the impending installation of cameras at strategic locations around the island. Prime Minister Pierre is also seeking to increase the police vote to ensure that police officers are trained in modern police techniques of crime detection, including human rights. And to inspire confidence in St. Lucia's judicial system, authorities are advancing plans to fully operationalize the Swift Justice Project to reduce the backlog of cases. From the Office of the Prime Minister, Rehani Isidore.